this doesn't usually happen but this is quite a special question why am i saying so take a look at 3.4 calculate the coefficient of kinetic friction between the 4 kg block and the surface we don't usually calculate the coefficient of friction but in this question we have to do exactly that but before we do 3.4 let's take a look at 3.1 draw a labeled free body diagram showing all the forces acting on the 4 kg block let's go through our equation statement and see what is going on so we have a force of 51 newtons that is applied to the 7 kg block parallel to the horizontal surface as we can clearly see causing the blocks to accelerate at 1.23 meters per second squared in the direction shown the 7 kg block experiences a 12 newton frictional force as it moves to the right so we want a labeled free body diagram of all the forces acting on the 4 kg block here's the 4 kg block right here on the incline so let's go ahead and draw a free body diagram for that 4 kg block well let me draw it in 3.2 on the space provided so first things first we need the weight right so there we go we have the weight we can worry about everything else our object is resting on a surface so there's a normal force that the surface is going to exert on the object perpendicular to the surface so there we go we have our normal force what else do we have this tension force that is pulling the object upwards right not upwards but up the incline rather so we have our tension force and then ultimately we have the frictional force going down so let's take a look this is the normal force tension force the weight and the frictional force we have four forces in our free body diagram and we have four marks in our equation so we are quite convinced that we are we have been able to identify all the forces acting on the object 3.2 Calculate the magnitude of the tension in the string that joins the two blocks. We actually can't use the 4 kg block to calculate the tension. That is because at this point we don't have the frictional force or the coefficient. So we cannot use the 4 kg block. But can we use the 7 kg block? Let's go ahead and find out. We'll start with its free body diagram, right? Because as soon as you sketch a free body diagram, uh, it's easy to identify the forces and substitute correctly so the 7 kg block first things first we have the weight obviously we have the applied force 51 newtons we have the normal force what else do we have we have the tension tension force and the frictional force so we can use F net is equals to MA. We have the mass, we have the acceleration, and then we have the forces acting on the object. So we will say force applied, this is the force pulling the object minus all the forces that are opposing the motion. So that will be the frictional force and the tangent force. This is equals to MA. Force applied is 51 newtons. The frictional force is said to be 12 newtons. There it is. So 51 minus 12 minus tension is equal to the mass 7 kg multiplied by the acceleration 1.23. So 51 minus 12, that is 39. So we have 39 minus the tension being equal to 7 multiplied by 1.23. That will give us 8.61. So minus the tension will give us 8.61 minus 39 that is minus 30.39 so minus 30.39 if we divide both sides by the tension not by the tension but by minus one we'll get the tension when it goes to minus not minus but plus plus 30.39 newtons so there we go we have the tension Let's take a look at the equation that follows. 3.3, calculate the magnitude of the net force acting on the 4 kg block. 
Well, we know that Fnet is equal to MA. We do have the mass and we do have the acceleration. So this is just direct substitution. The mass is 4 kg. The acceleration is 1.23. If you put that in your calculator, you will have 4.92 newtons. And just like that, we have the magnitude of the net force acting on the 4 kg block. The question we are really interested in 3.4, calculate the coefficient of kinetic friction between the 4 kg block and the surface. Right, let's go ahead and take a look. So for the 4 kg block, we have F net being equals to MA. What is pulling the 4 kg block is the tension force. So we're going to have the tension force minus the frictional force minus weight parallel being equals to MA. We calculated the, the net force in 3.3. So this is 4.92. So the tension, we calculated it above also. That is 30.39, right? So we're going to have 30.39 minus the frictional force. We don't have the frictional force, so there's nothing we can substitute there. Let's find the frictional force first, and then after finding the frictional force, we're going to find the coefficient of kinetic friction. Minus weight parallel. Weight parallel is mg sine of theta. So that will be 4 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by sine of 18 degrees. This is equal to 4.92. So 30.39 minus 4 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by sine of 18. Let me put that in my calculator. 4 multiplied by 9.8 sine of 18 degrees. I have minus frictional force plus 18.8. 2765 being equals to 4.92. So let's take these to the right hand side. So minus the frictional force being equals to 4.92 minus 18.2765. So minus the frictional force is equals to 4.92 minus 18.2765. This is minus 13.3565. And just like that, we have the frictional force. Now that we have the frictional force, we can go ahead and try calculating the coefficient. It should be an easy task when we have the frictional force. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. Let me just drag this upwards. We know fully well that the frictional force is equal to the coefficient multiplied by the normal force. So the frictional force that is 13.3565 being equal to the coefficient coefficient is what you're interested in the normal force is mg cos of theta so that will be 4 multiplied by 9.8 cos of 18 degrees so we're going to divide both sides by the coefficient well always I almost said the coefficient of the coefficient of kinetic friction well that that's what it is but uh, let's just say we're going to divide by 4 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by cos of 18 degrees. So we are dividing by 4, 9.8, cos of 18 degrees. These are going to cancel out. So 13.3565 divided by 4 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by cos of 18 let me just put that in my calculator and I'm getting the coefficient being equal to 0 
0.358 so that's 0 0.36 and there we go we have our final answer there's no SI unit for the coefficient of kinetic friction so we leave it like that